and ever since it's been downhill and from the moment my argument is really that if you read the papers yesterday and, and today there's piles of it today mm. um you, you know the sort of shock of the industry is what's happened um the fact is that ever since the prime minister appointed this, the, the um judge to hold an inquiry there was going to be something like this it's not as if this is new we've been negotiating this for months what happened of course is all came to a crunch on sunday night but you know the state of shock of the industry is is wrong really i mean we've seen it coming for years how concerned should the industry be well i think we should be very concerned i mean you know it is a complete mess um i mean from my perspective at the independent we're not unduly we're not we're not hugely affected by by much of it I mean let's face it we don't do we don't do the sort of journalism no. that there's a lot of this is aimed at but on the other hand it is a complete mess and but you would do something like the MP's expenses is that we come your way? We do MP's expenses hmm. I, I actually don't see and I've been through it I don't see how that would be affected um, but if you look at the I mean you know all the papers this morning, or, or certainly several of them, including my own, we've got, um, we've now got the blogging industry. Yes, people have made their living on the internet and with blogs. They're now threatening to leave the country. How do you respond to that? Well, that is a mess. I mean, it should have been sorted out. The whole thing's been done in such a rush on Sunday night. Obviously, people didn't pay attention to it. Um, and on Sunday night, we, uh, the, the, a, a picture seems to emerge, and I, I can't wait for Nick Clegg to come into the studio at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. I so want to talk to him about, <laughs> so to to him about the Haribo fruit pastels and the, the pizza and the whatever else it was, digestive biscuits. Um, but it appears that quite rightly there are representatives of the three main political parties and representatives for people from Hacked Off. And to the best of my knowledge, Chris Blankhurst, no one from the newspaper business. There was nobody from the newspaper business there, and that really is shocking and shaming. Um, Parties do with our own industry. I mean, we could not find, and we did not have. There isn't a single. I've written this today in the Independent. There isn't a single unifying figure for the press who can unite local, national, popular. Why someone like a guy like Lord Black? Would, would he not have been an appropriate uh, um, person to invite? Possibly. Although the thing about Guy Black is he's involved in it was an organisation called Press Off, who are the people who fund the PCC. So, and he works the Telegraph and. I've got no problem with Guy Black, I like him a lot, but, you know, if you go through all the candidates, they've all got vested interests. And well, so it's hacked off, of course. Well, so it's hacked off, but we didn't have, anyway, the point is there yep. was nobody there. Yep. There should have been someone there. Um, and when you read the count, actually the best account is in the mail, of what actually happened. I mean, it is incredible. And it actually looks like David Cameron wasn't there. No, right? he was being run at Ed Miliband's office. <laughs> it's really, it's it really story. is incredible when you read it. Nick Clegg tomorrow morning at 9 on this program. He's, he's going to talk about the budget. He's going to be talking about Sunday night. Do you hear this? He gets, he gets a phone call while he's watching one of his last play. <laughs> <laughs> to come alive. I can't. Hang on. I must admit, I've done that sort of thing myself. <laughs> We've all done it. Not normally then that the entire industry is left crippled. Right, you're back, Chris, in a moment. We must talk other matters. Chris Blackhurst, editor of the Independent, will return with his own selection for the papers in a moment. Read his column, as I say, in his paper today, 28 after 7. So to other matters, far more serious matters. The story of the British backpacker jumping from a hotel balcony in India to escape what she feared would be a sexual assault by a group of men. The woman is 32. She's from London. She fled through a second floor window after the owner reportedly offered her 